Hey, what's up you guys? It's Bjorn from Jurassic Park Traps again and today we are at the beach in the Netherlands. Um, we are close to the city called uh, Nieuwvliet and Katzand. Um, this is a known fossil location. There are um, quite a quite a variety of fossils that you can find here and uh, I thought it was fun to take you guys onto the beach and uh, we are just going to look around uh, between all this stuff uh, black rocks and the black rocks basically come from uh, the prehistoric layers from the past and um, we're going to take a look and uh, hunt for some fossils but first I would like to start out with something cool um, before I started uh, filming I actually did a really nice find on my way to this fossil location I just spotted it by chance but I I, um, I just found a fossil crab and it's actually a really nice crab and I'm just going to show you guys give me a second here he is the bottom is basically wrecked but give me a second guys it's hard to focus on the beach <laughs> zoom ah, there it is and this is basically the bottom uh, not too special but if you turn it around the body of a crab is visible and I think this is a Coloma Balticum I'm not completely sure but I would need to do some research on what type of crab this was but this is actually the shield from the crab and it's called a phosphorite crab because it's basically formed uh, with phosphorite it's a really nice specimen. I definitely found uh, several chunks and pieces of these crabs, but this is actually quite a complete one. And uh, what we are going to do next is we are going to take a look at the sand and uh, try to pick up some fossils over here. And I'm actually pretty sure we will find some things. So let's start out. I'm just going to bow down here and let's see if I can spot something for you guys. Just give me several seconds. Um, basically what we are able to find here are shark teeth, uh, stingray teeth, uh, all kinds of little uh, marine type of fossils. And most of them are about 40 to 60 million years old. Uh, not too old if you look, uh, if you compare them with different fossils. Um, there are other fossils that are like 200 million years old. These are pretty old like recent um, it's still pretty old though and uh, I've been doing this for about 19 years already uh, I started with this hobby as a child um, right now I'm just looking through the sand because it's way easier over here and normally I would use a sieve to make sure that I get all the little finds and the big finds but right now I'm just uh, spot searching so I'm basically just uh, moving over the sand and just uh, scanning uh, looking for fossils and uh, that's also a possible way uh, I'm doing that because this uh, location was actually closed for uh, several months due to a uh, bird uh, prey of uh, uh, mating season of the birds and um, it was closed but right now it's actually opened again so I'm currently looking at a pretty untouched location right now and it's actually really fun I just found a little shark tooth Kijk. And that's it. Just gonna continue and have some fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the little video. Uh, it's just a short video. Something happened on the beach. And I'm just gonna have a look what's going on over here. There are quite a lot of fossils around. basically getting the first dips. There are other people around as well, having some fun in the back. And it's definitely a nice fossil location, having a lot of fun on this location before. You can also find some glauconite sandstone over here. It's this stuff. And it's basically a type of sandstone that uh, formed over the course of several thousands of years as well. Really interesting piece as well. I can see some shells embedded in it. Interesting. Just gonna carry on, move around a bit. Ok, 
can't spot too much right now, guys. I'm really sorry. Usually I just pick every I pick just I just pick up the fossils one by one, but right now I'm not able to spot med that many of them actually. Um, that's possible because other people have been looking at this site right now as well. It has been open for like several days now, so but no problem. I really like to see the youth joining in into this hobby because I started as a child as well, so it's really fun. But guys, um, I see my battery is running low, so that's pretty unfortunate, but I'm just going to close up now, close up the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the little hunt with me. <laughs> I'm sorry it was not that interesting personally, but this is basically how I look for my fossils uh, as a second method, uh, other than sieving them out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to upload some other videos in the near future as well, and uh, hope to see you guys soon. Have a nice one.